Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last. Today we're going to have a really super basic tutorial on um, both uh, geometry, or rather perspective. It's They kind of go hand in hand with one another. And uh, we're also going to have another tutorial. Th this is going to be a tutorial on the very, very, very basics of Krita. Krita is a free program. You can download it uh, uh, on Google. Just type in C-R-I-T-A, Krita, basically download and you can download it and it's 100% legal to do so alright so this is how Krita looks like when you first open it okay now for some reason open, t open I mean, Krita has this weird thing where the tool options is actually a window and I don't really understand why and uh, so I don't like having my layers overlap over my tool options here so I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouse right next to where this lock is I'm gonna put it just to the right of it move it and snap it into place and there we have it that looks real nice and so I have everything where I want it now one thing that is really cool about Krita is they have this thing called the assistant tool and it's this little right angle tool right here uh, I can go ahead and go here into my tool options window here and select ruler right and I can just go ahead and just start creating a bunch of different straight lines just by clicking twice. <clears throat> and uh, I can go ahead and move them and keep the same angle. Uh, and that's pretty nice uh, just by clicking on these little arrows. Now if I pull out my brush tool, I can just draw wherever I want. But if I turn on the assistant tool on the tool options for the brush, with the brush selected, clicking assistant, it doesn't matter where I start drawing, I'm going to be, I'm going to be drawing directly on uh, one of these assistants. It doesn't matter where I start drawing. It, it'll follow them 100%. But if I go ahead and undo all of that and get rid of my lines and uh, turn down this, uh, um, this bar, the accuracy for which it will follow them is greatly reduced. Um, like this is me trying to freehand and uh, it's actually pushing me towards these uh, these uh, assistant rulers and so if I try to actually deliberately follow the rulers I'm not following them by gospel but I'm having a fair amount of accuracy while doing it okay so right and that's useful depending on what you're using it for so let me go back to the assistant tool uh, now you can actually deactivate these so that uh, the assistant is still there but um, I can go ahead and go back to my brush tool and it will only try to follow that one assistant ruler that is that is not deactivated that is still activated okay so uh, how to get rid of these rulers or uh, assistants basically I can go ahead and press on this no symbol that's kinda like no smoking or I can go ahead and go delete all if that's what I want okay and let me go ahead and just erase all that crap alright so with the assistant tool I can select selected I can go to vanishing point and just click once and I can go ahead and pull out my line tool one thing to note about the line tool is that it will notice just how hard you're pressing down on the stylus so like if you're pressing down uh, at varying amounts throughout the time that you're drawing your line <clears throat> crit is going, is going to remember that so um, and just try to apply the right thick uh, the right amount of pressure each time that you draw a line okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a box real quick here and uh, in order to get some nice straight lines you start drawing and then you press shift okay and that'll that'll make sure that you have uh, right angles going on and let me pull out my brush tool turn on the assistant and since it's set to a thousand I don't really need to worry about um, how accurate I am just as long as I start where I'm where I want the line to be it's it's gonna go straight towards that vanishing point let me select my line tool and I can go ahead and just go like that and uh, out my brush again since the assistant is turned on right here everything is good and I kind of have this rectangular cube going on here that's uh, really nice so um, that's all stuff that you can do with Krita 
that's really cool. So let me go ahead and get rid of all my assistants. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and get into the, the geometry or the things that you need to know in order to get into uh, working with perspective. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, let's keep this layer. Let's go ahead and press plus and with this layer down below in the middle here, let's go ahead and lower the opacity down to, I don't know, 60%. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just construct a box. Okay, let's say I want to have, uh, let's say I want a space here, and I want this space to be the distance from this to this. So from here to here, it's going to be from here to here. It's going to be the same length as here to here. It'll be over here, and then I want a box that's right here. That's really actually really easy to find out. You can go ahead and just draw an X right at the corners of your, your box, and you now have the midpoint. And once you have the midpoint, you can do something kind of cool. You can go ahead and just draw a line that goes all the way through. One second here, for some reason, that didn't render properly. All right, so that looks good. I can go ahead and just draw right through here. All right, so I have my top, bottom, and middle. I can go to this corner right here, draw right through this midpoint to, uh, at the edge, outer edge of the square, and I can go ahead and have it intersect with the bottom of the box, okay? And this right here, this distance from here to here is the same distance from here to here. Now. I can go ahead and repeat this process without drawing another X because I are, the, the reason why I drew this X here is to find this midpoint. And so now that I have the midpoint, I can actually do the exact same thing. I can just go ahead and go like that. And right here I have another. So this distance is the same distance from this to here is the same distance as this to here and uh, this to here. They're all the same uh, distance from one another. And so I can go ahead and pull out um, this other layer that's at 100% opacity. Let me go ahead and just ramp up my line thickness a bit. And that looks good. All right. All right, let me go ahead and get rid of some of these construction lines on this one, okay? <clears throat> Normally, you don't want to get rid of too many construction lines. It's better just to create another layer. But anyway, so let's go ahead and find the midpoint once again. Oops, wrong layer. All right, let's go ahead and find the midpoint once again. And all right, so now that I got this midpoint, I can actually uh, do something kind of cool here, okay? I can, well... Actually, I already kind of know where the midpoint is. Uh, I drew the X kind of weird. But anyways, so um, we now have this box separated into fourths. Okay, and we can actually do this infinitely. I can kind of, uh, well, yeah. So now, horizontally speaking, I've separated this into fourths. Let me, let me show you. So, oops, this is not completely accurate okay so okay one two three four okay let me pull out my finish work here all right let's okay so I've split up my box into four sections okay so I, ho I hope I hope this is making sense and this is this is actually really important to know especially if uh, what you're doing is uh, let's let's say you have a cube for example okay let me draw a cube okay so I drew a basic cube let's say we want to have a, a bit of a doorway right here on this cube let's say this is going to become a house being able to, to measure things like this is going to help you so that you're going to be able to um, basically find out what the size of the door needs to be on this foreshortened side 
uh, like if you, if you were to draw another door over here, if that makes sense. Anyways, that concludes it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.